Hi, again, this is, uh, again, the man, oh, I should, don't forget to play a little bit of the man of the horn. <laughs> another version of the man with the horn. Uh, I was just talking about the trumpet de caccia and uh, my development and research about it. Um, I'm still in the process of trying to refine three instruments that I've also developed to uh, be able to play in consort or in ensemble. And uh, this is one. This bell actually was made in California. Um, it was adapted from a low G trumpet that was built there when, when I was there, when we were there, remember? For uh, Canstall's Wake and uh, Arturo Sandoval played, remember? I think you went to, uh, went to town, you rented a car. I went to town, yeah. You went, with, and what did you, what did you see in town then, Sean? Oh, I just uh, drove downtown, did a sightseeing from the car. Just you wanted to the... see that observatory where... where... I, I went up there, but there was a lot and of... And what was that observatory about? Oh, I just went there to have been there kind of thing. Yeah, but it's from yeah. the film. It's famous. Yeah, I know, I know. You know what the film is? I know, James Dean film. It's called A Rebel yeah. Without a Cause. Yeah. Den die wissen nicht, was die tun, they yeah, say in I German. Remember. A Rebel Without a Cause. You were there at the observatory. Yeah, quite a couple of uh, movie settings there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Los Angeles. I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't see that. No big deal, but, Sean. Uh, uh, you know, everybody's got, to, got their own way to, to go through. Tell me, Sean, uh, before we get into this a little bit more, uh, what, what made you decide not to become a musician? I mean, I presented you with all kinds. Remember, you were a little boy. You got cello lessons and piano lessons, and, and I gave you trumpet lessons, and uh, uh, you played at school. You played cello at school and uh, yeah, some, some projects. Well... What made you decide not to become a musician? Oh, well, that's a difficult question. It's probably you know, I was forced to become a musician, basically. So the last thing I wanted to do with you is force you to do anything, become anything. I mean, I gave you the opportunity, showed you whatever, but, you know. Well, it's, I'd, I'd say it's the sum of a lot of things that come together. Well, explain It's it. not just I'm interested. One, one thing that happened where I Today said... Today is my birthday, son, so okay, tell Okay, I'll, uh, I'll, be, I'll, be, uh, I'll be honest. Yes. No, uh, it's a lot of different small things. It was there was no point where I said I don't want to be that. I uh, we did some concerts when I was twelve years old. I remember Weihnachts uh, Oratorium. Uh, oh, you played the third uh, trumpet in the Christmas Oratorium yeah. with the Weimar Chamber Orchestra. Yeah, so. played the D. We were playing. I played piccolo trumpet first, and you played third I trumpet remember, on a yeah. D trumpet. Yeah, I've still got that instrument. Yeah, it's, I remember. Uh, it's a beautiful. That was that was my first. We, we played on TV and for the uh, ordination of a, uh, the first uh, female rabbi in Germany. And was the, it? Yeah, yeah, in 2011. Didn't realize that, okay. Uh, it was live on TV. And I thought it was from the rebuilding of the synagogue in Bamberg. No, it wasn't the rebuild. It was the ordination uh, ceremony. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah. Uh, so we, we, it's not that we haven't Handel's, done things. Handel's water music or yeah, fireworks yeah, music? Yeah, fireworks music. Yeah. And we, 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 we've done, it's not that I, you and gave me opportunities. It was a nice arrangement done by Mr. Timpelan. I don't Yeah, he wrote the, he wrote the arrangement ago. with the organ. Three trumpets and organ. Ten years ago, actually, yeah. So. It was a girl from Berlin that played third trumpet or I second so. trumpet. You so. played second or third trumpet? I played third trumpet. So she played second trumpet. Yeah. Nice girl, yeah. Well, it was just to mention just a few things that we did together. Yeah, but concerts the, the, was it a, a negative uh, Well, it's experience? very stressful. It's very stressful. And stressful the preparation being a musician, sure. And the preparation. You know why it's so stressful? Well, you can't uh, hide anything. It's well, but that's not the point. What do you, or what do you, what, what do you makes it so stressful? Forward? What makes it so stressful? Have you thought about uh, it? The expectation to yourself makes it. I mean, you can perform badly and be satisfied with yourself, but if you have high expectations to what you do, uh, then it's obvious that uh, that makes you stressful. And that's why... Is that why people, a lot of musicians rock and some beer self-musicians want to get drunk or take drugs because they think that, that 
it makes it easier for them, or did, did they no. just believe they played well just because they were too drunk to realize? No, that? I think I think they do know, but it's also the audience. I mean, there's different kinds ah, of music. So it's styles. not only the expectations that you have on yourself; it's the expectations of the audience. Well, no, all different kinds of music uh, needs different kinds of profession and precision. Uh, you can make a four chord song, like any pop song, two, two minute, thirty pop song on the radio for the average Joe, and uh, he's satisfied. But uh, my friends always ask me, well, you're a native speaker, uh, English native speaker, you understand what they're saying. And I said, you don't want to know. It's just, just primitive. Well, not always. But uh, most, I mean, most pop music, chart pop music is very primitive, but it's made for made for everyone, and that's why. She loves to, yeah, 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 with a love like that, you know it can be bad. The Beatles, you know, yeah, the Beatles, da, 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 da. That, yeah. Paul I mean, McCartney. Yeah, well, that, that was that was the time, and so so this is also, but this is this is like really out of space. But he also wrote. Uh, when I get older, losing my hair many years from now, will you still be sending me a Valentine birthday greetings bottle of wine? When I get I, older, when I'm si the, the, actually the tune is called '65. When I'm '65, it's by the Beatles. It's not that stupid. No, it's not stupid. I'm not. I'm not trying to do black white drawing here, but be uh, careful to with that black white people. You know, yeah. what do well, you mean black and white? Well, you can. I don't. I, I mean. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I just it's a broad, your leg. It's just I know, a broad, I know you're not a racist, a neither spectrum. am I. That's not a point. It's a broad spectrum. But you know, people get mixed up um, these days. You know, you start talking about black and white, they go, "Oh." Well, if you wouldn't have mentioned it, probably nobody would have thought about it. But uh, bringing that up That's makes it a problem, problem in people itself. People think about things without you even mentioning it. Well, yeah. if you want to make a problem, you can't find make a problem. I agree. Um, to get back to your question, why I didn't want to become a musician was yeah, that's because, important for me because you uh, know it. It somehow breaks my heart that I, that I couldn't help you become the musician that because you are very talented, you know, musically mm -hmm. very sensitive. You have very good ears, a very good understanding. I brought you to Eleven on the Cornet where we had a lot of fun. We used to play a lot of duets. I mean, if you were playing twelve years old, you're playing third trumpet in the Christmas Oratory. You didn't have really good high chops. I think I played a few of the higher notes for you. In the, that well, day. I didn't have very much time to practice. I went to school and whatever, and. Uh, I don't think your mummy was very supportive of it either. Well, uh, I wasn't very supportive. Oh, okay. Also. Well, I mean, then, uh, good. That I'm, not, I'm not blaming her. Don't blame her. No, blame no. me for it. But yeah. uh, if you're 12 years old, you've got other anybody, things in your head. I'm not then. blaming anybody for it. The question okay. is, you make decisions. And I'm asking you, what was the important thing about you making a decision? Because, you know, a lot of people, uh, you know, they have gifted... Well, first of all, if they're musicians or if they're... Uh, in some sort of an artistic or even in, in an uh, entrepreneuring, uh, entrepreneuring uh, endeavor, they want their son to be their successor. They want their son or their daughter to be their, uh, you know, carry on the business and whatever. And often they, uh, I mean, this is exactly, I've seen this happen with somebody, uh, a mouthpiece maker, I'm not going to say who it is, but because his father was so forceful about him becoming you know, carrying on his uh, his uh, his legacy as a mouthpiece maker, he this man drunk himself to death. He drunk himself to death mm -hmm. at well, a very uh, early age. Okay, uh, and uh, uh, you, you know, because this is a, a great deal of emotional stress that that you put under, because you know every every son wants to be loved by his father, and every father wants to help his son as much as possible, but but there's always this communication problem about what I know and what I can help you with. I told you before, I can't help you become a computer genius, or I can't help you become an airline pilot, or, or I can't help you to become an become a, a Indian chief. I don't know. But uh, I can help you to learn how to play the trumpet. That's one of my small uh, resource of, of my ability to be able to help. I can really teach well, because I understand where the problems are. But if a person doesn't want to do it, there's no point in forcing them. That's my question, friend. That's my, that's my cozy word for my son. I call him friend. Huh? Friend. Also, yeah. tell me, friend. Friend. Well, I, as I said, there's, there's, this is not just one thing. It's, I, I seen it since I was uh, one, two years old. Uh, what did you see? Uh, I was with you with con uh, oh, concerts. Oh, you saw how much stress uh, that I gigs, had. Gigs, uh, rehearsals, uh, stand in the corner, played with cars uh, for hours. Uh, yeah. Uh, wasn't, I'm not, this nothing negative. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. You went on all kinds of tours was, to Italy I with me and yeah. uh, to... Uh, yeah, yeah, thousands of things in the last 20, uh, 
almost 30 years. So uh, 25. 25 years. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, but. But you. I've always had other interests, and I, it's not that I didn't see how it could be. And once in a while, I thought maybe I could do that too. But I knew I could never be as good as you, and I didn't want to be some yeah, mediocre person. Yeah, but that's not person. the point. That's uh, that's that's often a problem. A son decides not to do something his father does because he's afraid he's not going to live up to his father's expectations. But my only expectations for you with making music is that you do it 100% and you will find that it's satisfying doing anything in life 100%. Which means simply this, if you do it something 100% and are happy with yourself with it, then you will be a fulfilled person. I said in the last YouTube that I, that I did in the last series, I think it was 22 in this series, I said I may stop playing the trumpet at the end of this year. And I'll be fulfilled on all the energy that I've invested in that in, in, uh, over the, since I'm nine years old. That's uh, how many years is that? 40, 56 years? 56 mm -hmm. years. But, uh, you know, uh, some doors close and other doors open. There's uh, new things. And m making music or being a trumpet player is not the only thing in life. Some people just don't understand that, uh, that uh, you have to really reinvent yourself every day. And a lot of the things that I'm doing, including this trumpet to catch, is a, a question of reinventing myself. And now you're involved in, uh, tell me a little bit about what you're doing at Centron. You work for a, a website provider, or what no, is it exactly no. what you're doing? What we, is this company about? We provide managed IT services. Managed IT services. Sure. Well, so this is cutting edge technology that you're involved course, with, yeah. and the most, uh, not of course. A lot of people don't know what this is about. I and mean, we're now in the 5G era. I just bought a, my first iPhone. My first... Everybody has to do with us, uh, maybe without even knowing. Uh, we provide our own, uh, we have our own data center. Um, we have five locations all over Europe. So um, it's quite the evolving market. You're a project manager with them. I'm a project and product manager. Yeah. And a product also, yep. project and product. Well, projects and products are very closely uh, uh, associated with each other. Are, are associated, but, uh, associated, but not, uh, not technically the same. Okay, well, we don't need to actually... We don't need to go into we that. We don't need to get into the actual nuts and bolts of, yeah. or, or, or bits and bytes or, or quirks and quarks or, or shouts on, on <laughs> uh, 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 <laughs> whatever. But, uh, you know, your dad's always saying stupid things and trying to get a yeah, laugh I, out I of Yeah, I know, I know. But, you know, the whole idea... <laughs> The whole idea is uh, that you have to be fulfilled in your life. Exactly. So it's great that you've come today to uh, spend a little time. You brought your cornet with you. Yeah, I did. Uh, I, built, I built several trumpets uh, for Sean, and <clears throat> after he showed his interest about in, when he was 12 and played this third trumpet in, uh, in, with the Weimar Chamber Orchestra, where were we? What were we doing there? Was it in Herrenhausen? Hermsdorf. Hermsdorf. Hmm. Herrenhausen. Hell, Herrenhausen. Herrenhausen was the president of the Deutsche Bank that was murdered yeah, yeah. by the uh, by the AfD. No. No. <laughs> RAF. AF. Okay, I can get these names off. Screwed around. Maybe we should cut that out. <laughs> no, no, I don't think I'm not going to cut anything out. It's an honest mistake. <laughs> okay. Uh, but I actually but, played for his requiem. Did you know I played the Mozart requiem? for him with the Munich Philharmonic. I was a guest oh, no, with I the Munich Philharmonic in Frankfurt in the Dome. And uh, they were you know, like checking in the timpani to make sure there was no bombs in the timpani. Really? Yeah, it's okay. strange stuff. But I think that uh, we're gonna have to carry on this later because I think that, see I'm making YouTubes that only go up to 15 minutes so that I don't have to give my data up to, uh, to uh, anybody. I've, I've been informed that it's cool. If you make it up to 15 minutes, then you're just under the line, <laughs> just under the line. And that's what I like to do because I don't like to give anybody my ID or my, I, I, I don't know what the word is. Um, your, your data, more your, than necessary. More than necessary. It's a crude and rude world that we live in. And I actually got an email from China just recently asking me if, uh, uh, Somebody wants to use La Tromba uh, music as a as a website as a or as a, 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 a mm -hmm. okay La Tromba music China C N okay and he was asking me if I w what what that was about and I said I don't know and I don't want to know okay, okay. but uh, so we'll see you again soon bye. <laughs>